All right, welcome to uh, video four of this uh, problem. If you see the point, uh, you know, the problem C of this numerical, it says at what, you know, wherever you found V net to be zero, you know, and we were able to find that V net is zero in the figure number one and two. You can see the previous videos. Will the electric field also be zero at the same points? Now let's do this, uh, you know, as, as a conceptual discussion. Now, See, the concept of uh, V uh, net is equal to zero implies that if you bring a test charge to that point, you don't have to expand any energy. That means there is no expenditure of energy if uh, the potential at that point is zero. So you don't need to spend any joules to bring a test charge to a point where potential is zero. But the concept of electric field is uh, it is all about if you bring a test charge at that point, it should not experience any force because the E resultant due to the two charges of the pair is zero. So it is not necessary that uh, if the amount of work, which is the energy required at that point is zero, so the force also on the test charge will be zero. Additionally, you can draw you know, the electric field lines between a positive and a negative charge. So that also shows that electric field is not zero between, you know, one and two because it will exist. You can draw, right? And the third argument, which is an advanced argument, is that electric field is basically rate of change of potential. If there is no rate of change of potential, the electric field can never become zero. 